Hello, welcome to Spurred On, Rhys James here. Now, as if being the Prime Minister of Betrayal wasn't enough, Sol Campbell now wants to be the Mayor of London. That's what he said. Obviously that's touched a nerve here with us at Spurred On. We're pretty peed off about the whole situation. But Sol Campbell has asked that Spurs fans put our history behind us. He said that if we keep thinking about football, we'll get nowhere and people's lives are at stake here. Well, Sol, you're right. Here are my top reasons that you would be a perfect politician and the perfect mayor of London. He breaks promises. Oh, I won't go to your rivals. Oh, I won't go for free. Oh, I won't tax the poor. Oh, look, mate, you've done all three. I mean, he hasn't taxed the poor, but am I all right to say that? <laughs> He's money grabbing. That's right. He signed for Arsenal when Spurs wouldn't give him his proposed 80 grand a week, which might not sound like much in today's terms, but at the time was equivalent to 600 million pounds a second, not verified. He also signed for the Conservative Party when Labour proposed a mansion tax and he was there sulking, going, oh, don't tax me on my 17th en suite. Oh, don't tax me on my in-house gym. I need my in-house gym to do my stretches in because it hurts your back sitting on a throne of cash all day. He's got delusions of grandeur. He reckons he should have been full-time England captain and said that he's one of the best footballers in the world. Oh, leader of a country, best in the world. You know who you sound like, mate? Putin. Yeah, next we'll be seeing you topless on a horse chucking a missile at a plane. He is the master of the sorry, not sorry, fake bullshit political apology. Typical politician. He said, I won't apologise for going to Woolwich because I was very successful, but I will apologise for the hurt it has caused. That's like saying, oh, I won't apologise for cheating my expenses because that moat around my castle kept the riffraff out, but I will apologise for getting caught. Sol Campbell cracks under pressure. In 2006, he went off at half time in a match against West Ham because someone in the crowd made a gun gesture at him and an explosion noise. Pathetic. Sounds to me like a seven year old went pew pew and you ran off scared. Well, I'd like to see you on question time, mate. Flinching whenever Dimbleby points at you, hiding under the desk whenever someone coughs, invading a rack whenever America gives you a wink. Yeah, I'm, I'm topical comedian Rhys James, available for uh, Mock the Week, Have I Got News For You, all that sort of stuff. Contact my agent. All right. So those are my reasons. Sol Campbell is a perfect politician and the perfect candidate for Mayor of London. Leave your comments, discuss this issue, the burning issue in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and I shall see you soon. So BT Sport have announced their lineup for the Champions League coverage that they take on from Sky Sports next year. 